Hey guys, Bill here. You know, lately you guys have been sending in a lot of what I call creepy crawler videos. But the one that gets submitted the most, by far, is this one. It's called Alien Spider Creature Caught on Video in Russia Climbing on Building. And this thing has a lot of people scratching their heads. The video shows a spidery creature thing crawling over this building that we are told is in Russia. Now the list of people who have submitted this thing is way too long to put in the video, so I'm going to make a list in the description box. But what everybody wants to know is, is this video real? Or is it just another big four-legged fake? Let's get out the bug spray and find out. I did some looking around on my own, and as it turns out, the very first version appeared on a YouTube channel called Diamond Operator. And from there, I went on to another YouTube channel called 24-7 News Videos. Since then, dozens of other copies of the video have been posted all over the internet. That doesn't make sense. Unfortunately, none of my hoax-busting websites took a look at this particular video, so there isn't a lot to go on. But hey, it's like I always say, when the going gets tough at Bill's channel, I just call in the AT. In this case, Mikey Bora from YouTube channel Long Live Mikey. Mikey is a leading expert in computer special effects. This one was hard for me to kind of figure out for a few reasons because they, they did everything right. Um, you know, first off, you see that it's an overcast day as the spider is climbing this building. And since it's overcast, there's no real hard shadow, so they didn't have to worry about the shadows. There's no inconsistency in shadows and light because of that. You know, so that's the first thing that they did right. Next thing is shaky footage, um, very low quality footage. It's hard to really see anything. And the third thing is that the, uh, the thing that we're looking at is far enough in the background that we can't pick up any detail. And because of that, it's hard to see the movements, uh, any details on the creature itself to determine whether or not it's real or fake because of how far away it is. But with that being said, I did find something that to me points this, you know, helps me decide whether it's real or fake. And what we have here is the camera is shaking and moving. But then right here, it's hard to see. The camera stops moving. It's held still for about four or five frames. During those four or five frames, the creature is still moving while the camera is not. Now this was a handheld shot. You can't hold a camera perfectly still with your hand for four or five frames without anything moving. So you can see I'm um, right here. I'm going back and forth between frames. And you right. can see the, the creature's leg right. is moving here. Yeah. But everything else is in perfectly still. I believe that this was shot in two two things. There's the footage of the of the building and then the footage of the creature that was put on top of the building. All right, what Mikey's talking about is pretty technical, so I I'm gonna try to explain a little bit. You see, when we watch a moving image, we're not actually watching movement. What we're watching is a series of still pictures that are strung together and shown to you so fast, you can't see when they're going from one picture to the next, so you just see motion. Now, to do this, like say with my camera, it shoots about 30 pictures per second, 30 frames per second, right? But what if my camera makes a mistake and only shoots 28? If we're just looking at a normal video, it's not really a problem. But if we're making a video like this one, it can be a really big problem. Let me show you how. Let's say we're making a fake video and the creature is recorded this many times in one second. We want to place it over our recording of the building, but the camera recording the building makes a mistake and only shoots this many frames in one second. You see the problem? We don't have enough frames to match it up. Now this happens a lot more than you might think, so most video editing software has a neat little trick to fix the problem. What the software does to fix this problem is just make copies of this last frame to make up the difference. But it's the same picture over and over, so nothing moves. It's like a freeze frame. It's a pretty cool trick unless you're trying to make a fake video. Because when Mikey looks at it, he can now see the video of the creature and the video of the building are two different videos. And I think you know what that means. Well, uh, despite the fact it was a gloomy day 
and I couldn't tell with the shadows. It was uh, shaky footage and things like that. I did find where the frames repeated itself on the building and not on the creature. So I have to say without a doubt that there are not four-legged aliens from space attacking buildings in Russia. So it's a fake. Okay, so I hope that answers the question so many of you asked me about this video. I want to thank Mikey for helping me out on this. And hey, if you want to learn a little bit more about computer effects and maybe even take an online class, stop on by Mikey's YouTube channel where he has tons of videos that will show you how to become an expert in special effects. And that, my friends, brings me to the question of the day. There is one more telltale sign of fakery going on in this video, and what I'm wondering is, can you spot it? You need to look very close, but it's there. I'll even give you a clue. It's in the windows. Leave me your answer in the comment section below, and then hop up to the description box and look for the link that says answer video. If you click on that, you'll find the answer, okay? But I want your comment in the comment section first. No cheating. Don't go to the video and then come back here, okay? It's a test of your honor. I'll see you next time.